Assalamu alaikum everyone. Um, okay, so I'm going to do two poems today, inshallah. Um, both of them are obviously about and connected to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Um, the first piece I'm going to do is um, a piece that I wrote um, when my sheikh, my teacher, was in Medina al Manawara, and I had never spoken to anyone whilst they were physically there. Um, usually people call you before they go on hajj, like, please forgive me if I've hurt you and but they never call you from there so this was actually like a big honor to be to be called from Medina al Manawara so this piece the first piece is called his voice sounds like Medina Bismillah. his voice sounds like Medina al Manawara illumination clings to his every word I can see it with my heart I can feel it from afar Last night, my chest was pierced by Muhammadan lights through my Shaykh al Murabi, who is in the city of my Nabi, Ya Ahmed, Ya Mahmud. This love is contagious, and how could it not be? He is heartbeats away from Masjid and Nabawi. A green dome crowns the final home of he who made my Lord known to me. Ya Habibullah, Ya Rasulullah. I close my eyes and I am there, lost in a prophet's mosque with no desire to be found by anyone other than him. Oh, how I wish I was an Ansari, awaiting the arrival of this noble Hashimi, grazing the edge of the city, gazing into eternity. Oh, how I wish it was me that first saw God's beloved in Abu Bakr as Siddiq, illuminating the horizon. I wish I had sung with the women. Jitta Sharaf Tal Madina, Marhaban Ya Khairallah. I can smell the musk from Medina to Nabi when he talks to me. I can feel the breeze from Janet al-Baqi when he prays for me and in that moment I was certain I was not in London. In that moment I was basking in an earthly, heavenly garden, my tears seeping into the carpet, my heart seeking my beloved. His prayers sound different from Medina, as though his vocal cords are encased with even more grace. I imagine even more nur decorates his face, reflecting the secret of the Prophet resting in that place. Nabi ar-Rahma, Mustafa, Taha. And from this blessed city, he answers a call from me, his poverty-stricken Morida, continents away, calling just to say, Salam alayka, Sheikh Mahi, how is Medina, ya Sayyidi? I can hear the love in his heart when he tells me how beautiful it is. In this courtyard of his beloved, by Allah, I can feel it. And some of that love has found its way into my broken heart, and his light heals it. The moon is glowing on this Ramadan evening and some lovers of God are huddled around one telephone, speaking in hushed tones as though we were sitting with him under a lavender sky in Medina, the land that gave solace to the final prophet. Sheikh, please greet the prophet for me, I plead. In your prayers, Ya Sheikh, please remember me. He is my gate and you are my means and I am in need. He sends a symphony of prayers my way. Every single prayer hit me like a light ray. May the love of the Prophet fill your heart, he said. Amin. May the love of Allah fill your heart, he said. Amin. May you know the secrets of Allah and may Allah love you. Amin, ya Sheikh. Amin. I never knew Medina had a love song that clings to the voice of its lovers. But yesterday I heard it on the voice of my Sheikh and it serenaded my soul. Thank you. Okay, then, then the final poem I'm going to do is a poem called Seeking Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And um, this poem, I think I probably wrote 10 years ago now, because this year I'm celebrating my 10 years as a Muslim. And I wrote it when I had been a Muslim for like a few months. And I was invited to perform at an event that was organized by Radical Middleway. Or may have been Q News at the time, I don't know. But it was called Cartoons... A prophet of love, cartoons of hate, and um, we were asked to write a piece. So this is this is this is the piece, um, and it's a bit of a story as well. So please journey with me, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Excuse me. I wonder if any of you in here can help me. My name is Sakina Abdul Noor. I'm a pilgrim, and I've travelled here from Abyssinia with a caravan, and I'm looking for a man. I walked over mountains and valleys, past rivers and streams. I walked barefooted through pagan lands. On the back of camels, I rode through desert sands to catch a glimpse of this illuminous man. 
They say Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth and this man is his lamp, shining the light of mercy throughout the land. I heard once water flowed forth from his hands. So tell me, please, where can I find this man? I want to pledge my allegiance with my right hand and live life according to Allah's command. I'm not sure if you understand. I'm looking for the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I'm looking for the Prophet Muhammad. I'm looking for the Prophet Muhammad. Have you seen him? I had only the moon's light to guide me. I saw signs manifesting at night while stars were shimmering, listening to winds whispering, rising to pray whenever I heard the birds singing. See, I'm a pilgrim. And I decided to make this journey one night when I was sleeping. See, I was dreaming and a man appeared. His body was of pure light and he was gleaming. He had a beard, was dressed in green and he wore a turban. He asked me if I'd heard of him. Each of his words was a gem. And then he asked me to come follow him, forget material belongings. I didn't know before how much my soul was longing. He said, come to the blessed city of Medina and ask for him. So now I'm asking, how can I find the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Everyone I asked on my journey had heard of him. When I mentioned his name, every bird started chirping. I saw children's eyes widen and grown men start crying, tears flowing into rivers, each tear representing the love they have inside for him. And that's why I'm trying to find him. I heard throughout the land. Him and his companions can be heard reciting words of light and magnificent imagery, fitting into the highest literary category. I heard even his enemies were astounded by their sheer, sheer beauty and took their oath of shahada, forgetting about war booty. I met this woman who had the opportunity to meet him. He placed his hands upon her withered goats, said Bismillah. Then milk started overflowing, feeding her first, then his companions. So if I give you her description of him, maybe you'll know him. She said, his face was luminous like a full moon. His expression was serene. He is quiet and there is a strange dignity about him. When he speaks, his words are like sparkling pearls. His friends obey his every wish and listen to his every word. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I even heard when he touched a child, a perfume could be smelt on them for days. A tree even wept when he went away. I heard a young boy cried when his sparrow died. So the prophet stayed all day. I played with this young boy until his grief melted away. Listen. All I want from you today is to show me the right way so I can find a mosque to pray so I can catch a glimpse of this man. You must know his name is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening, but it seems like I've just missed him. The beloved prophet of Allah has already returned to Allah's kingdom. It means on this life, maybe I'll never get to greet him. Alhamdulillah, it seems like I wasn't meant to greet him. I traveled seven and a half years to get here, but I will endeavor to learn from his teachings. And they say, if you look into the eyes of his ummah, you should be able to see him. And so I'm seeking people whose faces ignite whenever they speak of him. And you know those people who care for traveling pilgrims. I've come so far and I'm not leaving. In fact, I'm staying right here in Medina to learn the ways of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and to understand, the prophet of, to understand the Prophet of Allah. I want to spend starlit nights praying. I want to walk the ground he walked and pray in the mosque where he talked from this day. I vow to live my life this way, writing down all I learn and any obstacle I face, I pray, trying to live in the Prophet Muhammad's ways. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Thank you. Thank you.